Today we're gonna peek in on the honey boxes and see what our honey crop will look like. It's the last weekend in June and we're gonna harvest next weekend. A probably gonna be our last harvest for the year. The honey flow is pretty much over. We're down here south of Hartford, Alabama. You can see this watermelon field here. Lots of watermelons out here. They look like they got pollinated quite well. A Rusty uh, had some bees out here as well. His hives are not as tall as they were because he harvested last weekend and I helped him with that extraction process. It's been kind of cool having someone to, to help with the honey harvest and to help him out as well. So we're gonna break into these boxes here. I plan to go to all the different locations today where I have bees uh, pretty much and see what we got so I can get an estimate of what we're gonna have next week. I'm anticipating 80 to 100 boxes of honey. We're gonna have a much better idea here in a little bit. Let's go over here and look at some of these bees and see who we got. Before we crack open these boxes, I thought I'd show the activity at the entrance. We do have some bees in and out. Uh, it's just nothing like what it was just not long ago when they were so busy uh, with the flow coming in. Just a few bees leaving here or there. I do have this one cracked here so the bees can utilize this as an upper entrance if they want to. You can see the bees down in there maybe uh, moving around a little bit, but there's just not the activity level there was. I think these hives have plenty of bees in them. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure they do. They're just not near as busy because there's not a whole lot coming in and out. And the, the plants have grown up in front of the hives some too. Just in the last couple of weeks, it's kind of crazy, but the bees figure it out. Now we'll be moving these bees probably the next uh, few weeks, uh, hopefully just some cotton, some irrigated cotton particularly. This particular hive was not as strong. You can see it's not near as tall. Now this box is a medium and deep, clean excluder, a deep, which I think I just put foundation on there a few weeks back, and two mediums. I believe the two mediums were probably uh, comb. I'm not sure. And then the deep was foundation. I'm pretty sure I was trying to draw it out. If nothing else out here on this tallow floor, I was hoping they would draw that out. So, so no, this one was a, this top medium looks like was just foundation and they haven't done much in it. They did a little bit. They've drawn it out a little bit, but I'll probably just store this. I'll remove it and store it. And uh, yeah, they'll just utilize that next year to give them a head start whenever I put it on a box next year. I just knew that there was a great tallow flower here. So I wanted to take advantage of that went and stacked them up but it's time to start removing some of this space they don't need it all this next box down is what i'm expecting to see a lot of though there are some bees up here guarding it which is good and we're about to be in the hive beetle season here too but look at that beautiful frame of honey i'd be willing to bet i'm almost positive this is probably a box i took off that we harvested last time about a month ago just pull a frame out of the middle. Look at that. That is so impressive and so beautiful. So that box will go for sure. My next question is, what's this deep look like under here? Oh my gosh, that's heavy. Oh my word. All right, this deep right here was put on here as foundation. Just to let them draw it out and hopefully get some honey. I don't like to run a lot of deep, so I know I'm, I'm positive I didn't put it on here initially look at this <laughs> so that's a deep box of honey under here beautifully drawn out and capped phenomenal bees and if we go to the edge here I think we're going to see a similar situation a little bit uncapped on the outside but the inside of that outside frame is completely capped. So this whole box will go. <laughs> a deep box full of honey is a lot. I got a bee stinging me here. The bees are not in a flow right now. So I anticipate them being a little cranky. May have to actually put the bee jacket on today, but it's so hot, I'd rather not. So that's the first top I went in. We have a deep and a medium ready to go right now. And we'll take those for sure next weekend. All right, this is the next box over. Let's see how it looks. I'm anticipating seeing something similar, but you really just never know. Yeah, same thing on this. I put another box of foundation on here. I really hadn't done much to it, so just thought I'd give them a chance. For the box below, once again, check this out. 
Look at that. Perfect frame of honey. Unbelievable. I think these two boxes right here that had the foundation on them, I may have pulled from hives that were a little bit weaker. Just threw them on there a couple of weeks ago, uh, but they haven't had it. They didn't get a chance to build them up. The tallow was really winding down by the end. This next box down looks like it's mostly full. In the middle, I'm pretty sure it's totally full. Got a little bit of honey here that's not capped. Maybe they'll cap it over the next week, but I'm gonna shake it. Do the old shake test like this. And really, none of that honey came out. So uh, typically what that means, this is kind of a test I do. And if it doesn't shake out, then I thought like the water, the moisture content is fine. In reality, a vast majority of this honey is gonna be capped. As long as we got about 80 or 90% of it capped, I feel good about it. I've never had issues uh, so far in my beekeeping career that I know of with any water moistures or fermentation of honey. We'll take uh, this box down here. We'll take this box as well and just spin out whatever's in here. So far we've got two medium boxes and a completely full deep and then a deep that has six frames in it. So we're just gonna say two mediums and two deeps here already out of two hives. Let's go ahead and stack everything back up. I think next week I'm probably just gonna take everything above the clean excluders unless I see an issue somewhere. I'm just gonna pull it all. Uh, third box on this pile will peek in here as well. Obviously this one's not stacked as high, so it probably is not as strong, but I'm hoping to get a box of honey off of it. Remember that after our last harvest, I came out here and stacked a lot of these honey supers back on here. This one is not that impressive. Whoops, that wasn't good. Looks like this was some foundation they're trying to draw out. We may not get any off of this hive. It may not have been quite as strong. We got a box of honey here. Looks like it was foundation they've drawn out. Look at that. All right, five boxes of honey. Just like that, five boxes of honey out of three uh, hives. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go through all my production colonies here and everywhere else pretty much, as many as I can today, and just get an estimate. We're sitting at five right now, I'll check back in. Well, I've been through just these three pallets out here we've already got i think 15 boxes of honey we're going to pull now some of them aren't quite full but that's crazy because one of them was actually a dead out there's a couple more that aren't really healthy but some of them just did phenomenal so this is not even my biggest yard we've only got 12 hives out here we gotta go peek in on a bunch more amazing stuff all right just got up here to ozark i've been at it all day i had some dead outs in some other areas that i had to clean up so I got to whip through these real quick. So far, uh, between all the pollination bees, Slocum and the farm, we're sitting at about 80 boxes of honey, give or take. You can see these hives are pretty full. We might have a couple dead outs. Uh, looks like we got a dead out right there. And one right there. The hive beetle is starting to become prevalent and uh, a little behind on that. So, uh, but most of these that are super strong, these production colonies are well, there's not many, I don't see many high beetles in them. Uh, but look at this, crazy. <laughs> so we have another good number of uh, boxes off these hives, I think. I've uh, got a little bit of robin trying to happen here, I think. Uh, the bees are just, the flow is over, so they're a little bit uh, feisty. Well, I've been through them and it's quite amazing. Uh, these three right here are a prime example of what we got going on up here. These three colonies have double deeps, three honey supers on top, mediums. And look at this right here. They all look similar to this. Let me just pull this frame up enough so you can see what we got. That capped honey right there. It's crazy. And these three hives are pretty much like that. So that's nine boxes of honey right there. It's four and a half, five gallon buckets, you know? And then a lot of these colonies all through here were just like that. So impressive honey take this time. We're gonna take honey a week from now and see what we end up with. Let me get that lid back on, get this camera turned around and we're gonna wrap it up and take it to the house. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I've had this thing sitting here all year. 
it was a dead out. Look at this, swarms moved in. You can tell, quite a few bees in there. So I guess it was smart to set it up as a swarm trap. We caught some. Uh, before we wrap this thing up, if y'all go down below and hit that like button, if you like what you see. Uh, we got, I think, a little over 110 boxes so far, and I still got a few in my backyard. So we're probably gonna end up with anywhere between 115 and 120 boxes of honey, which is by far my biggest take. And these bees are just impressing me to death. Uh, we had a phenomenal flow this year. It's basically over now. We did have a few dead outs, but you know what? As strong as these production colonies are, I'm okay with that because maybe we're just weeding out some weak genetics. I mean, there's plenty of strong beehives out here. They're doing great. And so we'll just utilize these strong colonies and hopefully after the honey uh, harvest is over, I can get them treated for mites and keep the beetles under control and uh, get on throughout the rest of the year okay and, and look for a strong 2022 as well. But that's enough for now. I uh, hope you all enjoyed this video. It was kind of fun to make and it's just awesome to see how these bees are working and what they're able to do. And so that's it for now. Y'all take care and be safe.